Hello, my good friend, and once again, thank you for joining me today. As we think about Mother of God, together let us think about this title which is given to Mary, the Mother of God. I think it's a title given to Mary, Mother of God, that could be very mis easily misunderstood or misinterpreted. Because God, in a strict sense of the word, has no mother, has no parents, as the pro, uh, the famous Aristotle philosopher, Greek philosopher, said, God, he didn't use the word God, but he talked about the uncaused cause. The uncaused cause. In other words, nobody caused God. He's not the effect of somebody's work. He has no parents. And yet he is the cause of everything that it exists. But why we say Mother of God and apply that title to Mary is Jesus come into the world and he didn't come as a spirit. He came as a little baby, as a human being. And the person of Jesus, the person of Jesus has two natures. He has a divine nature, the nature of God, and he has the human nature. So in that broad sense of the word, we say Mother of God. And we honor her because she was given that special blessing by God himself. So, we pray to her. She is not God, but she is like any one of us, is a human being who is subservient to God. God bless you. Have a nice day. Till tomorrow. Goodbye.